Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining me today. Uh, this video, I have something a little different planned for you uh, instead of my normal fluid painting, which I like to do a lot of. I also have other little projects I uh, indulge in here and there, and this is one of those times. So today, I'm going to show you how I make these extra deep uh, 3D texturized canvases out of recycled wine boxes. So here's one of the ones off my wall finished. And uh, this one over here is one that my daughter painted a few years back. Uh, and so we're just gonna get started here. Um, you're going to need tissue paper, uh, glue or Mod Podge, uh, masking paint and or masking tape, excuse me, and a paintbrush. You're gonna seal up the holes here in your wine box after taking the bag and everything out. If you don't have that extra little round piece there, it doesn't matter. You can do the masking tape over it anyway and it'll, it'll all be just fine. So you're just gonna tape those up to secure them and uh, then you're gonna take your glue and add a little bit of water to it, stir it up to a consistency, uh, pretty much like heavy cream and then we're just going to uh, you work all the lumps out of it, get a nice smooth texture, and then we're going to paint this all over the front and sides of the wine box. Uh, you saw I just took some tissue paper there and just crumbled it up and set it to the side. I'll get the glue all over it here. And then we're just gonna go in with a sheet of the crumpled up tissue paper and back in with the brush and the glue mixture to seal it all up. And where the edges get wet there, you'll be able to just peel those edges right off. So just getting that all finished up and all the edges where you want them. And then we go in with a second sheet of the tissue paper. Do the same thing all over again. I made a little tear there, so I just went in, put another little piece of tissue paper right over the top of it. Super easy. Work it all in with the brush and the glue. Get all the edges smooth. And then once that dries, we can get ready to start painting it. The colors I chose were a bunch of different shades of reds, different shades of purples, plums, um, and some metallic golds and copper. As you can see, I'm just throwing the paint on there, making sure that you work it into the folds of the tissue paper so you don't get left with white spots. And I like doing uh, the edges and the, all the different faces, I like doing uh, different colors. Some copper on this side. And then I did let those first two, or those first three sides dry before I went back into it, just so it was easier to handle. And then I come back in with this uh, metallic gold. And I had just a little too much paint, so I went ahead and did both sides. And then with sort of a dry brush technique, kind of just went in and started spreading some of the gold around to pull out some of the kind of veined look and texture from the tissue paper. And then we'll let that dry. And then I just keep going back in and adding more and more colors with um, with this dry brushing technique. Well, <laughs> except here. First of all, I forgot that I didn't completely cover that side, so went back in with some purple. Again, working it into all the little folds of the paper sometimes can take a little bit of time and patience. And with the dry brush, with a little bit of that purple, kind of working it into the face of it there. And once everything's dry, we want to go in um, with little bits of color on our brush, sort of a dry brush. We're going to, here I take the red, because I want to put red veins 
or bring out the texture with red. Wipe some of it off so there's just a little bit on the brush. I'm wiping it across to pick up the texture. And I'm adding some of the red in there to the purple too. It just adds more interest and texture the more different colors you add. So here I'm going back in with the copper, with the dry brush and copper. And some through here. Now I'm doing a light metallic purple, which gives it a little bit of a sheen and a shine. And it's really kind of hard to screw this up. So I think I was losing some of my definition in this, so I went back in with the gold again to pull out some more of that texture and make it shine and shimmer and just kind of looking it over and trying to see what areas could use a little more shine or a little darkness here or there to pull out the texture. So that's all going to be up to your eye and how well you like it. The next step is to pick out the design you want. This is, uh, according to Google, this means passion. <laughs> so I'm just cutting this out and I won't make you watch me do all of that. Now I have this gold Sharpie marker and I'm just going in and tracing. I'm going and touch it up if it needs it, kind of darken up some of those lines. And same thing here. Finish those lines up and then I'm going to go in and fill it in with black paint. Just be careful you don't run your uh, hands over the wet paint like I almost did. And then finally after it's dry for hanging, I just took a ruler and measured the halfway point and not even particularly accurately either. As you can see, it wasn't perfectly level. Uh, and then I just take a pair of scissors, pop a hole in it and sort of twist it around to create a circle. And then I just put a thumbtack on the wall and I slide it right over the thumbtack. And so here is the finished project. Uh, all put together as sort of my fake headboard treatment. Um, if you guys do not have access to uh, getting a bunch of leftover wine boxes from your friends like I do, um, you could always use some regular cardboard boxes. I've gotten plenty from Amazon at my door that would have been perfect for this. I would just suggest finding sort of a spray finishing lacquer um, to treat them with first. Uh, so that because the wine boxes have kind of this um, slick sheen that keeps them from uh, uh, absorbing the moisture. Um, other than that, you guys, I hope you like it. Go ahead and subscribe, comment, tell me what you think. Uh, and don't forget, I have an art giveaway going on. You can find out more about that at my website, voxarts.com. I hope you all have a great day and I'll see you soon.